Hey, this is Dan from Bujuk Productions, here with a review and some gameplay. My audio was corrupted, so I'm doing a voiceover for this portion. I have gotten somewhat competitive with my friend Arash in a more obscure sport of billiards. Let's say that I'm not that great, but it's for fun, it's for fun, totally, I'm not that competitive, yeah. Well, I couldn't help myself but to get my own equipment instead of using his, and thus, I bought a Q-Stick. Now, Q-Sticks are usually are priced starting at $100, but this Q I got was only $30, and it came with its own case as well. So is this worth it? This is the Trademark 40 t Blue Metallic Blue Titanium Pool Q Billiard Stick. What a mouthful. Now, taking the description on Amazon, which I will leave a link down in the description below if you want to buy it. This Q is 58 inches long and weighs around 20 to 21 ounces. It is a standard two-piece set and features a slick diamond design. I want to emphasize that compared to the description, it must be said that the Q is still made of wood in the inside. The whole Q is not made of titanium or it's not a full metal Q. The inside is a standard wood cue, most likely made of maple or ash, which is the cheapest. Then the outer layer is a combination of plastic, titanium, and graphite. The bottom is of firm rubber to be placed on the ground safely. The tip of the cue is supposed to be the strongest and is a titanium tip but I can't be certain as I have never seen titanium look so much like a piece of cork. And it's most likely again another combo of different materials. Lastly, the chalk I bought was a third of the price of the Q-Stick, and it was separate of course, and is the Predator Pure Blue Chalk coming in a pack of five. They say that the quality of chalk is very important, so I got the best I could find. And it looks super cool as a hexagon, and sticks well onto the tip. When testing the queue, I'm at my friend's house to film at his pool table. Thanks for allowing me to film there, by the way. It's always a great feeling using my own equipment instead of using the house's stuff. Or even your friends. Nothing was serious, and we were just having some fun. Connecting the two pieces together was super easy. And with the chalk on, the cue is ready to play. And also, here it is with a fresh chalk on its tip. The back rubber hold isn't the most comfortable and is quite slick. And also, don't judge me for my unorthodox way of holding. Uh, the cue because my shots look much smoother than before and I look cooler. The brake was also easier to control with its smooth release. Now here's a small portion of our game where you can see the action takes place. I'll let the game show the cue and my non-existent skill and I'll end this voiceover here and let you have at it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, think that's possible? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Nice job, dude. Very sexy, very sexy. No, that's not possible. <laughs> Very close. That's a huge bad spot. Huge. That eight is fun.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Forget it near it. That's one way to get some. Gotta have it gutted out of there, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Very good shot, very good shot. Very sexy. Yeah, beautiful. Nice, right? Pretty close. 